Um, hi everybody. I'm gonna show you how to make a tyranid digestive pit or a spawn point. This is my first video, so it might not be up to standards. Um, also my voice is coming out funny through the camera, so just gonna have to hang tight. <laughs> um. Later in some other videos, I'll be showing you how to make some Tyranid bunkers, uh, Tyranid scenery, and Tyranid capillary towers. Um, but I need to get to the main focus of this video. Um, you can sketch out your design, but I like the more natural look. Because they're free organisms, all different. Um, yeah, you will need a large soldering iron or a smallish one. See how big that is. Yep. You will need some polystyrene, just any old scrappy piece. Or you can have some nice new blue, expensive sort. But this is just an old scrappy piece that you can find lying around. Um, yeah, you need to solder on your design. Well, not solder, but mark it in. So all you got to do is just press down, move it along. Can you see that? See how easy it is to make marks? And then you can just like, get all the way down. Um, it would take ages for me to show you how to do all of this. Oh, you also need to wear your uh, mask because it isn't really, these fumes aren't good. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not because otherwise my voice would be muffled, which it kind of is at the moment. Um, yeah, this would take forever. So, well, you wouldn't want to watch it all. So luckily, I've already made one. See all the natural kind of feeling? The main part of this is to have the holes. Because this is where the actual digestive pits are. The other parts are just like scenery. Um, so... Yeah, you can also have like little tyranid arms coming out of here or dead soldiers or whatever you want. But you can fill this up with um, that muddling water stuff. Don't know what it's called because I don't use it. And later I'll show you how to paint this. But for now... Goodbye.